Damage from Harvey, Irma and Maria cost the U.S. $267 billion last year. Are these superstorms getting stronger? And is there a link between them and our warming oceans? Is this our new normal? I'm concerned when hurricanes are used as the poster child for global warming. Dr. Chris Lancey is the Science and Operations Officer at the National Hurricane Center in Miami. So it's very difficult to say how are hurricanes now versus 100 years ago. We're still challenged today on knowing how strong a hurricane is, even in 2018. Lancey understands the climate is changing and the oceans are warming, but doesn't see a direct link to the frequency or intensity of storms. There's periods where it's very busy and quiet and busy and quiet, but no trend. I haven't seen anything that suggests that the hurricane intensity is going to change dramatically. It's not zero, but it, to me it's a fairly small change. Many, including the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, don't agree. Some of the most advanced research in the world on the effects of global warming on extreme weather is being done right here at MIT's Department of Earth, Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences. You find that in any scientific discipline, there's, there's controversy. Dr. Kerry Emanuel is an MIT professor and one of the world's leading scientists studying hurricanes. He argues the influence of climate change is much more pronounced. The frequency we see nothing at all. The intensity is a little bit different. Models are more unanimous about that. Category fours and fives seem to be increasing. That is a troubling trend, but one that seems to be bolstered by recent research. Rapid intensification, usually found in major hurricanes, has likely increased in the Atlantic since 1970 and may be more common due to global warming. This cap on wind speed is projected to keep going up so that it will become possible to have more intense storms. Some people have talked about coming up with Category 6. We may need to do that. Storms in the past five years have been continually breaking records around the globe. Haiyan in the Philippines, Patricia in Mexico, Hurricane Irma, which battered South Florida, set a global record for the longest sustained Category 5 winds. We're all pretty confident that we're going to see a higher incidence of the rare high category events, and we're already arguably beginning to see that. Lancey doesn't share that confidence. How much of that is real? and how much of that is technology, and that's, that's a difficult question to answer. Other recent studies show a trend for hurricanes to move slower, which along with the ability for warmer air to hold more moisture, can lead to considerably more rain and flooding, similar to Harvey in Houston. The other thing we have high confidence in is the is increased risk from storm surges, if only because sea level is going up. Plus, everyone wants to live on the coast. There's a lot more stuff that can be destroyed when a hurricane comes ashore and the potential for a lot of people to get hurt or killed if they don't evacuate in time. Scientists also fear what they call the gray swan, a now theoretically possible storm that is stronger than anything ever recorded, one that could decimate a coastal area. Tampa is something that we're worried about. It has a large population. It's very low-lying. We're all worried about Tampa.